Guys, after scorching through deserts, walking through forests, stomping through swamps, I have finally found a Hidden Face Elite Trainer Box. Well, kinda. Let's talk about that. What's good, everybody? Dark Gold here, back at it again with another video but in today's video guys let me show y'all what we're cracking into this is an elite trainer box of hidden fates ladies and gentlemen and this etb is probably the best etb pokemon has ever created i feel like i say that every time a brand new etb releases because i'm pretty sure i said that about dragon majesty but guys let me show you a closer look at this because this right here is gold so check that out guys we got a hidden fates elite trader box featuring moltres zapdos and articuno and 10 hidden fates booster packs within so like i said we're gonna be cracking into this bad boy and hopefully get some fire pools but i've heard that this elite trainer box does not offer the best of pools i'm not gonna lie from what i've seen it doesn't really look like it's gonna be that promising but who knows we might have a banger elite trainer box because we are the ghoul army and y'all already know that we pull nothing but bangers ladies and gentlemen and i'm also going to be showing you guys my progress of my hidden fates collection my master set of hidden fates it has come a long way since you guys have seen it and i feel like you guys deserve to see the progress because it's getting there guys it is getting there so if you guys are excited for today's video make sure you guys smash that like button right now let's try and get this video to at least 750 likes y'all already know we can do it because we are the ghoul army bro and also if you're new here let me know you're new and also subscribe and join the family aka the ghoul army lastly if you guys leave a comment down below with the hashtag ghoul army y'all already know the drill boom and bop you guys could be featured in a video like these individuals right here but we're gonna go ahead and crack into this hidden fates elite trainer box before i get into it here is the back of the box in case you guys want to pause the video and read this you may and if you're wondering why i have a band-aid don't worry guys i was fighting off some thugs for this elite trainer box of hidden fates but yeah guys that's totally what happened you know i was fighting off thugs so i can obtain these rare pokemon cards but let's go ahead and take off the seal of approval shall we there it is it's off you cannot return it you cannot go back what's done is done and let's open this up all right guys let's start with the first thing and that is obviously the cardboard you can actually remove the glue from this cardboard and it turns into like a little poster of each pack art for hidden face which is and that was loud i'm sorry but which is very cool to do and let me go ahead and show you guys the object that actually fell it is actually the dice and these look really cool with all of the colors combined we got articuno as the big die right there then we have mixed like it's almost like an orange yellow type of thing going on right here from moltres and zapdos you know being fused together into dice which is cool and then obviously you get your gx counter and poison and burn counters and then here is the code card for the online tcgo ladies and gentlemen i ripped that very very terribly but guys look at the dividers right here these dividers are beautiful but i hate the fact that these dividers get damaged very easily they need to make these into a different type of material because look at the whitening on that that already looks ruined but these are very nice nonetheless and next up you get your typical pack of energies nobody cares about those anymore and this right here guys is beautiful we got sleeves featuring the legendary birds of kanto moltres zapdos and articuno and these are black background sleeves and that is absolutely beautiful the color combination on these sleeves it just flows well together you feel me and then here is the storage box itself it actually has a very nice texture on the box itself so it's not like just a plain black box they actually put effort 
into this box check that out hidden fades i'm definitely going to be keeping this because this looks absolutely dope and then the booklet y'all already know every single etb comes with a booklet which shows you basically information about the set and it even comes with its own little checklist so you can collect every single card from hidden fades check that out guys from secret rares from shinies it has it all ladies and gentlemen and y'all already know the card that we want the most is this charizard right here and it is worth around 400 to 500 dollars ladies and gentlemen and that is absolutely crazy for a piece of cardboard shiny cardboard that is but guys look at this beautiful promo card right here of moltres zapdos and articuno i thought it was gonna be a shard hollow like all around should we open this one yo i think i'm gonna open this one and then i'll buy another etb to keep it sealed but we're gonna have to open this one so i can show the ghoul army if i can get it open y'all without damaging the card itself and it looks like that is not okay there we go we got it we got it we got it gently do not ruin it please do not ruin it because this card is beautiful man look at that artwork that is beautiful. I thought it was going to be more brighter as far as colors go. But check that out, guys. This card right here is absolutely art at its finest. This is true art. This needs to go to an art museum ASAP because this card is beautiful, guys. Check that out. We got Moltres, Zapdos, and Articuno GX. And yes, this comes with every single Hidden Fates elite trainer box and that is amazing so y'all we're definitely gonna put that as the star of the show because that card is just way too pretty to not be the star of the show and then finally we have our hidden fades booster packs yes i know i'm going a little bit slow with this etb but it's a brand new product guys and i gotta show you everything in detail but after this video if we do happen to open up more hidden fates etbs y'all already know we're gonna run through them very very quickly but now let the official opening begin ladies and gentlemen with the first booster pack of hidden fates hopefully we do have an amazing etb but we shall see guys we shall see what happens in this opening we got 10 packs so we got a decent chance at pulling some bangers we got the clefairy the coughing the chancy and an ev holographic so it's not first pack magic but it's at least first hollow mat i don't even know what to call it somebody in the comments down below think of a name for first pack magic but for hollows you feel me like it's not a full banger but it's at least something it's at least something so let's keep it rolling with the second pack of hidden fates ladies and gentlemen we got the geodude the jolteon and the r box so hopefully my etb is not as bad as everybody else's i have been seeing but so far we got two decent packs. I mean, one pack was a dud and the other one was a decent holographic, which was an Eevee. And I'm pretty sure everybody collects Eevees at one point. You feel me? So let's go ahead. We are now into the third pack. We got the Ekans, the Eevee Reverse, and thank you, the Gyarados GX, ladies and gentlemen. So I don't think I have this Eevee Reverse now that I think about it. But we definitely have pulled this Gyarados GX plenty of times. Will it take down this beautiful artwork of a card off the start of the show? Definitely not because this Gyarados is probably like a $1 or $2 card at the most. So Gyarados, you're going to have to stay in the pile instead of being the star of the show. So I believe we're now into the fourth pack. But guys, I'm just so excited for y'all to see the actual progress of our Hidden Fates Master Set. I believe we are done, if not almost done, with the first 68 cards, you know, with normal and reverse form. So we got the Ekans, the Charmander, and Bill's Analysis. But as far as Shinies and Shiny GX cards go, we do need quite a few of those, but we have been pulling decent Shinies left and right, I'm not gonna lie. So I can't really complain about the pools of Hidden Fates as a whole, but as far as products go, I definitely prefer the pin collections out of every single Hidden Fates 
product. So we got ourselves an Eevee, a Charmander, Psyduck, and we got the Frogadier Shiny, guys. So this is one that we haven't pulled, and that is a very, very nice piece right there. Followed by a double banger, ladies and gentlemen. We got the Fool Art, Jesse, and James. That is insane that is what i like to see right there double bangers all day every day when it comes to hidden fates y'all already know we don't take anything less double bangers or nothing you feel me so we got the jesse and james followed by frogadier should we take down the star of the show for the jesse and james i feel like we should because this is an actual full art that we pulled from the set and the promo was given to us so i'm sorry i love this card so much but we're gonna have to put this Jesse and James full art card as the star of the show because that is a very, very nice piece right there. So halfway through, we're actually doing pretty decent and I am not disappointed in what we got so far. Honestly, the double banger actually saved the opening right now because the pools were a little dry. I'm not going to lie. So we got a Fire Energy and a Charmeleon. Is that a sign that we're going to get the Charizard next? Because who just... Ooh, we got the Charmander too. Is that a sign? That might be a sign. This is the next one. Never mind. It's a Fire Energy. But that is even more of a sign because it's a Fire Energy. And what type is Charizard? Fire. It is a Fire type. Followed by Blaine's Last Stand Regular Rare. Or it was a sign that we were gonna pull a dud of a fire type gym leader, which was Blaine. But anyways, guys, let's keep it rolling. We're not gonna dwell on that too much. And y'all, let me know how your pulls for this Hidden Fates ETB have been going. Because like I said, I've been hearing a lot that these ETBs do not offer so many pulls. If you guys purchase one of these yourself, let me know how your pool's been so far. So we got the Pikachu, the Clefairy. How do I react to that? Like, bro, I was not expecting a Tapu Fini gold card. Literally the only gold card we're missing is Tapu Lele GX. Bro, look at that border right there. Look at that border. What is that? It is a what? Y'all already know what it is. It's a double banger. Are y'all ready to reveal what the double banger is? Let's do it. It is an Onyx GX. I'm not even mad about that Onyx, bro. Onyx, just go in a sleeve and get on that pile, my guy. Because this Tapu Fini is so beautiful. Check that out. I know my reaction was like... I don't know, I just wasn't expecting a gold card, bro. I was not expecting on getting this. Now we have three out of the four golden Pokemon cards of the Tapus, you feel me? And that is crazy. We definitely have to sleeve that up. Ladies and gentlemen, check that out. We have a Tapu Fini GX golden Pokemon card. That is going to be the star of the show. Easy. That is easily the star of the show. On top of the double banger and on top of the gold card, we still got three packs left. So I don't know what people are talking about of the ETB providing bad pools because our pools are amazing from this ETB. Like so amazing, I am just mind blown right now. The fact that we keep pulling gold cards left and right and not the Charizard is kind of funny because... We're pulling all the other super rare cards, but not the rarest one, if that makes any type of sense. So we got... Yo, this is a troll Charizard! Imagine... Bro, for a second, I thought this was a shiny Charizard, my guy. Yo, because of the wings and the colors, it definitely looks like a shiny Charizard. But yo, we got the shiny Noivern! GX, aka the skinny Charizard right here. Check that out. I'm just so shook of all these pools, guys. I don't know how to react. On top of that, I have like a slight headache. So my reactions on pulling these amazing cards is kind of on the downside. But guys, trust. I am so happy that we are pulling all of these amazing cards. 
we got the skinny Charizard right there. This is a troll Charizard. I know I've seen somebody say that either on Instagram or it was in another app where they said this Noivern GX is a troll Charizard because it looks like you're about to pull the shiny Charizard because of the wings and whatnot and the colors as well. But it's just a classic little Noivern, which is a very dope Pokemon and card indeed. So let's go ahead and put that down and let's continue the opening, y'all. I feel like I'm about to pass out right now because we still got two packs left. The pools are out of this world right now. And I still got to show you guys my master set of Hidden Fates, which is going to be absolutely crazy. Okay, let's see, guys. Let's see what's in these final two packs. Maybe we can get another gold card. No, let's not be greedy. We got the Brock's Grid. And the Vaporeon Holographic, so that's not bad right there. But it all comes down to this Mew Booster Pack for our final pack, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see if we can get some Last Pack Magic, a.k.a. the overused and overrated Last Pack Magic. Alrighty, guys, let's see what we're working with from this final pack. We got the Ekans, Coughing, the Leaf Energy, and the Snorlax Regular Rare. It's all good. I'm not tripping about that one bit because look at our star of the show, guys. It is a gold Pokemon card, bro. How can I complain about a gold Pokemon card? You can't. You literally can't. So that is a very, very amazing pull right there. But alrighty, guys, this is the final recap for the ETB itself. We got ourselves several holographics right here, a Fire Energy, Leaf Energy, and Evolutions. That is actually some very solid holographics to pull, I'm not gonna lie. And then we got our promo card of Moltres, Articuno, and Zapdos, and that is absolutely insane. Followed by a Frogadier shiny card and then these are our gx pools onyx and gyarados very two similar looking pokemon except one is water and one is rock we got the full art jesse and james followed by the skinny charizard aka noivern gx so on top of all these amazing pools we also got a golden tapu fini gx ladies and gentlemen and that right there is absolutely amazing this right here is a true star of the show ladies and gentlemen so guys aside from this crazy crazy hidden fates opening i'm going to show you guys the progress of my master set of hidden fates these cards are not going to be included yet but after this video and after this recording i'm definitely going to put these into the binder so ladies and gentlemen give me a quick second to show y'all and prepare for this crazy Hidden Fates collection. So this right here is actually where I'm storing my Hidden Fates Master set. So obviously this is a close up of the binder itself, but check it out guys. It's literally a Pokedex trading card collection so people know that this is a trading card collection binder. And this is actually a stackable binder so you can buy multiple and just stack them, stack them, stack them without them sliding off premium materials made out of this binder as well, guys. And look, it even clips open so you can actually get to the cards themselves. So check this out. Are you guys ready? It is my Hidden Fates Master Set, ladies and gentlemen. So we got ourselves the grass types. If you don't know what a Master Set is, it's basically the normal card as well as the reverse Form. So obviously it's not complete, but there is huge progress made within this binder. So let me go ahead and just flip through these pages, show you guys what I'm working with, because like I said, this binder itself is absolutely crazy and insane. And the fact that it's Pokemon themed is even better. So like I said, we got ourselves everything numbered from 1 till whatever the set ends. We got the Starmie GX. We got the Thunder types right here, or Electric types, I should say. We got the Raichu down there, and it just keeps going, guys. It literally just keeps going. Some of the pages are complete. Like this page right here, I'm only missing one card. And we're getting into the good stuff, so don't worry, guys. We got ourselves some more Ultra Rares right here this page right here in fact with the onyx is all complete literally with reverses 
and their regular forms, you feel me? And then some other pages, it's missing a few cards here and there, but y'all already know we're going ham with Hidden Fate, so we are eventually going to pull every single reverse and whatnot. But if I happen to struggle on pulling one single reverse, I'll just eventually buy it because reverse cards are not expensive to buy unless it's like stupid playable but i don't think any reverses in this set are stupid playable like that so let me go ahead and keep flipping through this collection there is some very nice pieces right here we got the moltres articuno zapdos and the secret rare form here is a fun fact i pulled the secret rare form over on instagram on my one pack series so follow me on my social medias if you guys want to see that it's one of my most recent posts if y'all want to check that out but we got the full art jesse and james giovanni and then this slot right here is actually going to be empty because this is the last secret rare from the set itself and now we're moving on to the shiny cards themselves i'm missing a lot my guy i'm not gonna lie i am missing a lot of shiny cards but it's all good guys because eventually we're going to pull them we are going to pull them mark my words we're going ham with hidden fates and we're actually pulling more shiny gx's than the regular shinies you feel me which is a good thing because the shiny gx's are more expensive so lots of slots missing on the shiny area but like i said those will eventually be filled and then we're moving on to the end of the set and check it out guys we got the tapu bula gold card the Tapu Coco, the Tapu Fini probably goes here or there, and then we are only missing Tapu Lele. And then obviously I just did the energies because why not? The energies are very, very easy to pull in this set. So I got the regular and the reverse just to make it a more complete set itself. As well as the promo cards themselves, we got the ones from the pin collections and the ones from the tins. And that ends off the master set of hidden fades it will be fooled eventually and once it gets full let me know if you guys want to see a video on that but ladies and gentlemen this binder itself was actually provided to me by a company called unikeep i believe that's how you say their name if i'm butchering it i'm sorry but if you guys want to pick up a binder like this like i said it's stackable you can put one two three four five and whatnot until your heart is happy with how many binder collections you have. I will be linking these binders in the description down below in case you guys want to cop these. They are from Amazon and whatnot, so it's basically like a trusted site for the most part. And I've already purchased products from this company in the past without being sponsored or anything like that. But guys, I am definitely going to buy a couple more of these. I'm going to probably use these for my master sets because that would be crazy to have master sets stacked on stacked on stacked on top of each other and plus it's a great quality binder and it also comes with free pages as well in these binders the last binder i want to show you guys very quickly is a smaller version of the trading card pokedex binder and this one's basically four pages or four slots as opposed to the bigger binder but i just put a couple cards in here just to show you guys an example of how the pages look once you fill them in with Pokemon cards. Like I said, they come with their own pages and whatnot once you buy these. Obviously, this is the cheaper alternative compared to the big one, but I love them both. I'm probably gonna use the smaller ones for like the mini sets, you know, something like Detective Pikachu or something along those lines. And then I'll use the bigger ones for the actual massive master sets. Mark my words, guys. I'm gonna, literally gonna have so many binders of these Pokedexes. So if you guys wanna cop them, links are in the description i recommend checking them out i'm not getting paid for like each purchase you guys make so it's not like i'm saying that just because i'm getting paid for each purchase no i am actually recommending these products because they are very nice quality and without further ado i'll catch y'all in the next one peace